Welcome to Click Stop, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, Alex Coons, and Tyler Spees. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstoff today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everybody know that Clickstoff is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, the world's largest Hero Clicks retailer. Find Hero Clicks new and old on Trollandtoad.com and use coupon code Clickstoff for 5% off your Hero Clicks order. Uh, merchant and pre order items do not apply. If you like what you're listening to today, check us out patreon.com forward slash Clickstoff. Dollar and above gets entered into our monthly giveaways, $5 and above gets entered into our Discord server uh, for exclusive hero click strategy and tactics discussion. Uh, joining me tonight is Jason. Are you with me that we like having standard powers come back? Yeah, baby. Alvy. Ooh, standard powers. Standard yeah. powers. Um, and then also joining me tonight is Alex... He's lucky I said his first name this time, Coos. Um, oh, sure. <laughs> and the reason why he's lucky I said his first name is because joining us tonight is Alex 2023 U.S. National Hero Clicks Champion of the United States, Mater. That was our cheap soundboard. I appreciate it. It was a solid applause. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for joining us tonight, Alex. Absolutely, I'm happy to be here. So, um, uh, but oh yeah, I should have let off with like this is the exclusive first interview. Um, you know, a little more sensational, right? Like um, like we're CNN or something. Um, but we want to talk to Alex a little bit tonight, um, and hear how his national championship run went, and then we're going to talk retirement, um, uh, and then have Alex give us some opinions on that as well, so, um, I, um, I don't have anything salacious to start out with tonight, guys, like, last episode I started off with, uh, with Pulp Sucks, so... I mean, you could probably make something up. I probably could. Um, I do appreciate all of the... I will, I will lead off with this before we talk to Alex. I, will, I do appreciate all the instant feedback that we got on the last episode. Um, so, it was fiery. It seemed like it, yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, and I don't want to... I don't want to... I'm scrolling through here real quick. I don't want to get his name... I don't want to mess up his name. But because one, I know Brad gave some instant feedback... That gave a lot of, I uh, got a lot of comments uh, pretty quickly. And um, I had his name, Michael uh, Michael Fitzpatrick. Thank you for your feedback on the last episode. Um, obviously, when I bring up Legacy Thanos, um, you know, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I was personally slighted, right? I get that, right? But from a objective perspective, Michael... I think about all these other things that just don't get the fucking outrage that he did. And it's like, maybe people are okay with just blank dials. Okay, I so, don't know if I could equate Switch to Thanos, though. She still has to get in your face to do something, and you can somewhat do something to counter. Thanos just hid behind Barrier and shot everybody. Like... We don't have to go into it, but it's still one of you those, want like, to. Oh, you want to? You feel like it? I feel like you. No, do, I do. Thi I do kind of agree with what they said, though. Like, you should do like a live stream or something, and just like, like have it like a therapy session to go. Oh, over I'm good. And talk I about mean, for a little bit. He's retiring now, but at any I mean, rate, uh, is that, is that going to put it to bed? Come nine eighteen, is it, are we, we going to mention it ever again? Um. I mean, they're still we could silver. Maybe he, un, un, he, bring him back at silver. Yeah, if he's unbanned in silver, I you know I instantly play him in silver. 
Um, but no, I mean, you put Patrick mentioned Unimind for silver and bronze. And uh, Patrick, the only reason I play Unimind in silver and bronze is because um, it's probably a, it's a symbiotic relationship. I don't know. I was going to say something a little more salacious there, but like, I just love playing Uni. Um, it's just so hard for most folks to approach him still. So, yeah. And the in the silver event at Gen Con, Uni was never attacked for three straight rounds. <laughs> N- nary an nary an attack was declared against him. Mm. So, I just uh, in Rock Cup only in teams. Was it teams? No, it was singles. I didn't play Union teams. In singles, one person got him to stop click a thing. So, um, at any rate, Patrick, that's why I talk about Uni. So, uh, but anyways, I appreciate y'all's feedback. Uh, this should be a little bit more uh, straight line of an episode, I would say. Um, well, that's not very exciting. I, you, yeah, I, I, I mean, we can only be pissed off so much, Jason. I don't think that's true at all. Well, I mean, look. <laughs> is, that, is that what we're changing the name of the podcast to? Yeah, well. The uh, pissed off content. <laughs> so, so, Alex, let me, let me ask you this, Alex. You know what? You know which one I'm talking about. Um, do Let's just jump right in with that. How do you feel? Of, how do you personally feel about the meta going into Worlds? Do you feel like it sucks? Do you feel like you've got a chance? Do you feel like you know you're one matchup away from just having a day, your day ended? What what do you feel? How do you feel about things? I mean, that depends on what I bring. I mean, I've heavily considered bringing the same team that I had at Nats two worlds just because it's what I've most practiced with. But driving back from Gen Con, the conversation was, okay, how do we beat Spider Man? I know everybody's going to be having that exact same conversation and I don't know if that's going to be the play. Like I've thought of a lot of things to try and deal with him, but generally he can still get out of it. Right. It just ends up being kind of a tight spot if you put him up against switch or scarab and things like that. So, right. So I don't know. I feel good about it, but right. it really depends on what I bring. So gotcha. Um, are y'all flying or driving? Driving. Yeah, y'all. I mean, y'all drive pretty much everywhere. So I guess we should probably. Aside from Florida. A, a, except that you flew to Florida. Flew to Florida. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's good. So, um, for those that don't know, uh, Alex is a resident of South Dakota. Um, so. Um, go go Sioux Falls. The the best the best hero clicks player in all of the United States and the best one in South Dakota, probably much to Lucas's chagrin. Um, so for Lucas those not- would probably have a word to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know the uh, the statistics uh, don't lie there, champ. Um, I know I'm just giving Lucas a hard time. So um, absolutely. So yeah, by the way, uh, yeah, Lucas is also from that area. What was the uh, drive like, drive back like with, uh, with first and second place? That had been a pretty uh, sensational drive back, I would say. The trunk was pretty heavy. That's for sure. It is you... uh, a lot of pricing came back from that uh, from that one, so that was nice. Yeah, call but... up uh, call up the insurance company and up the insurance on the car a couple grand. Just a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But no, it was a. Uh, it was good. It was not as a uh, contentious a drive as one would think. It was a. Uh, it was a lot of just breaking down how the day had gone, and like I said, we both walked away with a lot of good prizing. We were both really happy with what we got. So, I think we were both just happy that we got there. Lucas because he did it with mission points, and I because I was just there at all. So. I'm with you. So it was a good day. So for those of you that, I mean, Alex, you know, you, I know that you've, you know, funny enough, I mean, y'all make that drive from South Dakota, um, a lot. Um, Yeah. I mean, because we've played together several times and, um, 
you know, have we, have you actually ever played any of the three of us before? That I'm not sure. I know I've played in some of the same tournaments as you, but I don't think I've right. played you specifically. Right, or Jason or Alex. Um, it's not that I can remember. Yeah, I mean, so you guys make that drive to, like, every event in Chicago. Now, I know it's not, like, terribly far, but you're talking about, like, it's four-plus hours for y'all to go to another event, the closest event to y'all. Yeah, generally, I actually didn't realize how much they drove until I started rolling with, you know, the Lucas, Isaac, Kevin, and just the Sioux Falls crew in general, and... I mean, yeah, Omaha is, you know, about three hours, and that's probably the closest one that's not in South Dakota. And then from there, Des Moines is four hours, Minneapolis is four hours. I mean, uh, Wisconsin was like seven. Yeah, and that so, puts, that puts yeah, like Chicago. It's a heavy drive. Yeah, Chicago seven, and like y'all been to the yeah. y'all been to PJ. Did you go to PJ's event with them? Sure did. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that was like 12, 10, you know, I don't know, 10 hours, 10 to 12 yeah. hours. Exactly. So, um, you know, I think my, my point there for our listeners to, to bring home is, um, you know, it, it takes a lot of dedication, right, to, to build a high level of skill and, um, you know, get that exposure to the different types of play styles and different types of players out there to really hone your hone your abilities in um you know to reach that higher higher level of play um so alex give us um give us a little background on your clicks history um you know typical thing how long you've been playing uh what's your favorite set that you've played with uh favorite and favorite figure so far so i started playing when the game first released like 20 however many years ago that is now and when i started playing i had no idea what i was doing my parents just bought me some and me and my seven-year-old brother would play it but i played it for probably eight nine years and then took a very long break and have now been back playing for about a two years now i'd say i got oh, wow. back into it right around when rise and fall came out oh wow so I just missed Wonder Woman and all the crazy meta pieces that were in there. So I was kind of learning that on the fly. And so last year's Worlds was kind of my first introduction to like actual high level meta play, not including, you know, what I deal with in South Dakota, you know, at our local venue, because obviously everybody there is sharp and is really solid. So it's going there was kind of an eye-opener like it was seeing all of those different types of teams all those different levels of metal was something different that i had not seen before so but now obviously going into nats i was ready for that and it w i was still extremely nervous but not uh on that same level that i was so gotcha but yeah well, that's I'd cool favorites yeah it's a favorite set that I've played with since I've been back for such a short period of time. Or just in general, you can go back to your old stuff, and it doesn't have to be... You don't have to answer with a meta thing. You know, if you like something casual, that's fine, too. Um, Honestly, it was the Scooby-Doo all day. <laughs> like, when, they, when the Batman team upset came out, that was... I said that I told myself I had to get every piece of, and it did not take me long to do because I just traded for everything and then eventually just had the few constructs left missing, but getting the full set of Scooby-Doo crew was very cool for me, so one of my favorite cartoons from back in the day, so what, uh, what are your feelings on Scrappy? As a as a character? As a character? Yeah. Eh. I mean depends on where you see him like in the cartoons he was kind of fun and stuff like that as the weird villain in the movies it was kind of a, a curveball <laughs> but i don't know what do you think of scrappy um i don't jason's the uh, i asked more to see if uh, jason would have an have an, would share some of his opinion there does jason like, have a strong opinion on scrappy 
I don't like him. I don't like the movie version of Scrappy, but I love the cartoon version of Scrappy. Look at that. We're going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I grew up on Scooby Doo, so, like, you know, that's. Exactly. Well, the old cartoon was, uh, was, was it for me, yeah. But you can't go wrong with some puppy power, right? That's right. As love long it. as it's not some weird soul stealing animatronic thing. Yeah, I, I just try to like, not think about that at all. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit odd. Oh, as a character, he's deeply annoying in Hero Click. I hate healing with Lair, <laughs> but <laughs> as a cartoon character, I love the guy, though. Yeah. I like bringing him out. He's, he, he's not fun to face, though, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, a tiny puppy could do three damage and crack out your main character. It's like, well. I don't like you so much anymore. Yeah, he's wrecked me. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. That's funny. Um, favorite, so we did favorite set, favorite figure. I mean, I say Spider-Man, I'm being super basic, but let's be honest, it's Prime Spider-Man. He's my dude. But... <sighs> I really love the sculpt on Ghost Goblin, though. That's, like, probably one of my favorite pieces. And it just, it plays well, too. Like, just being able to crack through barrier, penetrating energy explosion, all that fun stuff. Like, Ghost Goblin is a close second. Currently. Makes sense. Love it. Do you still have your stuff from um, the original time that you played? Some of it, yeah. So, I mean, some of it got traded off to play other games through the years. Like, I played, like, the Star Wars minis game and stuff like that. Oh, I played... Dude, you're like my new best friend, I swear. Everything <laughs> coming out of your mouth is like... I used to play Star Wars minis all the time. Absolutely. Like, it was a solid game. It was a fantastic game. So, but unfortunately, that is where some of my better old hero clicks went to was to trade for some of that when it first came out but i mean some of the legacy stuff that's come out i'm always like holy crap i actually have that piece because it's from way back when and it was one of the few commons i still had or something like that but unfortunately i haven't had any of the crazy high dollar ones like i didn't have thanos i don't have ultron or any of those so but that's, that's all right though that's that's awesome um, Still got some of the fun ones, though. What? Um, all right, so I was looking, and you qualified for Nats on uh, Friday morning. Correct. Um, so just kind of walk us through your qualification experience um, and your, your first three rounds there. So... Try to remember my first game but for the life of me I can't remember it I know that I won but I can't for the life of me remember who I played against I know my second game I played against Pat and that one was a near mirror match but we had played that one before at uh Wisconsin Wisconsin States and he had beat me in that one but in this one, it was a lot more of a defensive game, and I was able to edge him out on points. And then in the third round of the qualifier, I ended up playing against Lucas, which was kind of annoying because I did not expect him to be in my pod for qualifier because he had played the day before. Right. Um, but we were both 2-0 and at that point, and it was his mission points versus my Spider-Man, and... I was able to take out some of the key points of his team, and then he was able to score some points, which was beneficial for him, so we were able to both qualify, which was nice. So, but... Did you um, did you win initiative that, um, that time, or did... Um... I did. So, both of the times that I played against Lucas both in the qualifier and in the final I won initiative which I think was key in beating his team because if he had won initiative and had chosen to take me to say like you know more lock tunnels or something like that it might have been a different game because he had a lot of defense sure so, 
but um, construction site is Spidey's home ground. So that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So in the qualifier and spoiler alert in the finals, you won initiative both times. That's uh, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Um, so cruise through on Friday, three and zero. Uh, we go into Saturday afternoon. Um, talk to us about your your run there through the final through the final event. Yeah, the two rounds cut to top eight really threw me off. I was not expecting that. Like different. But, it is a little bit different. Okay. It's what they did last year. Um, I mean, we all kind of okay. we all kind of really hope that we go back to like a single day event or a two day event for nationals yeah. at some point. Um, I mean, nationals used to be you know a hundred players, um, you know five rounds, cut top thirty two, second yeah. second day type stuff, right? Just like for worlds, sure. and so it it has not been that away since they moved back to Gen Con. Now, I will say after, because this was my first year going to Gen Con as well as my first year at Nats, I love Gen Con <laughs> and I can't <laughs> wait to go back. And I'll be honest, I kind of wish that they were separate, like have Gen Con the first four days and have Hero Clicks the next two days after that so that I can fully enjoy both. I mean, I love playing Hero Clicks, but there was so much cool stuff there that I yeah. also wanted to see. So, playing like two full days of Hero Clicks, as awesome as that is, would take away a little bit. So, I can understand that to an extent, but at the same time, for the tournament format, it just kind of irked me a little bit. But, still enjoyable though. Right. That makes sense. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's one of those things. They used to have it at Origins in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and it's a lot. It's a long, it's a long day. So, you know, and you get to meet you, Isaac. You... Sorry. Oh. That's who I played in my other qualifier game. I just remembered. I was oh, like, I knew so you. Somebody else that was mean. So. So you made Isaac AB have to qualify twice, three times. No, twice. Twice. He qualified the second day, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he qualified in your pod as well. Yeah, I think he... I thought he did. Because I know, off of me, he scored, like, 65 points, and I think he went 2-1 and one with, like, 665. I'm pretty sure he qualified that first day. Yeah, he didn't qualify in... Yeah, because in your all's pod, it was Lucas. Yeah, it was Lucas, yourself, Pat, and Isaac... Um, that made it through. Bingo. That's what it was. Yeah, that's right. Um, so your first round, your first two rounds of the final day, um, really important first two rounds to make. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the... Gosh, and again, I'm drawing a blank on who I played in the first one. I want to say it was Pat. That doesn't sound right. But yeah, those first two games, I know that the first one was close, and the second one, I'm pretty sure I went 300 to... <sighs> Score on that one. Hmm. This is why I generally write these things down, but that day I was just in a situation where I didn't take any pictures, I didn't do any of that stuff that I normally do. Sure. Uh, do you so, remember what team, what kind of team it was? Maybe we can pull it out from our uh, knowledge of who played in your round one. I feel like it was a Spider-Man team. That's why I think it was Pat. But I might just be confusing that with my qualifier day, too. Yeah, I mean, Pat was playing Spider-Man. Um, mm -hmm. And... Um, thinking who else was playing Spider-Man. It wasn't Nate. Nate has Nate had Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah I didn't have to deal with Nate at all. I know that Nate was playing a mean Spider-Man. Um, Jack was playing Spider-Man. 
Yeah, Jack. Now that I never had to deal with Gallagher, which was good because that was one matchup that I wasn't. Well, yeah. Of. So was it was it Jack Smith, younger man, younger kid? I did play against Jack. Yes, that was who I played against. Okay. Now that was the other one that I was trying to remember because yes, he was also playing Spider Man, and that was that was an intense game. I want to say that was the uh, qualifier or not the qualifier the. Uh, yeah, that was your round. That yeah, would have been he, that'd have been the one round one yeah, of your top sixteen. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yep. So yeah, I did play against him, and that one was a that one was a close game. That one was the one that I remember because yeah, it was Pat the first day, Jack the second day. Yeah, because I played Jack the second round of that cut or those did two you? rounds. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so all right, so then round two of the qualifier or the two rounds of swiss i should say trying to remember who was all in there you remember what it was you played against because it wouldn't have been animals because tj played the animals uh you said you didn't face gallagher you didn't face nate did you and yeah i know you didn't face pat or not pat ken yeah. Um, nope. You didn't face I didn't me. Face Ken at all that day. You didn't face Sam. I was um, wondering if it was Lucas again. But did I really play Lucas three times? I might have. You know what? It might have been Lucas again. So you beat Lucas twice in on Saturday. It just feels like that's got to be... Well, once in the qualifier... Yeah, I believe so. Once in the qualifier... On uh, Friday, and then, yeah, I believe on Saturday again. Saturday twice. Because I don't think... I can't remember who else I would have played against at that point. And he had won his first game. It's a shame we can't let this up in the win or something. Right? Gosh, that makes life so much easier. <laughs> yeah. You and your... Yeah. Um, so you <laughs> probably played Lucas again. I mean, I, we're kind of there on it down, right? Cause unless, because it, it wasn't John. It was it was it John Burgess. That'd be the only other person that I can think of. Was he playing? I think he was playing. No, I don't think so, though. I, I think John was playing Prime Spider Man, if I'm not mistaken. No, because I didn't play two Prime Spider Mans in that first two rounds. Okay. I'm. I think it was Lucas again. I really do. So, I know what the I know what the other ones were because that was Jalen, Isaac again, and then Lucas, which was right a ridiculous schedule to have to play again. Sure. Um. So yeah. So tell me what I was curious. What happened in your game with Jalen? So if you were the one that beat Jalen, I mean, he had the tyrant. Yep. And like, I, I mean, I'll I'll. I'll say it this way, like, I played that same, kind of similar version of that X-Men team at States, and I absolutely, um, if I got to go, if I won initiative, I absolutely obliterated all of the Prime Spider-Man. So, I won initiative and chose to go first, and he swapped into Jubilee, went to the other world citadel did uh the mephisto swap so he was sitting on the sideline and all that good stuff and that threw me the mephisto just popping up in my face on my first turn kind of you know if i did a swap that was something i was not expecting right away but he moved up in a way where i was able to send carnage surfer up and was able to pluck the King Killmonger out of his formation. And then Spider-Man was able to go up and knock out Tyrant. And that was kind of the beginning of the end of that game. Yeah, that's that so would pretty much it make was, it it. Yeah. Yeah, it was... I don't think he realized that Carnage Surfer could get to the place where he was so did, did was the killmonger in his start zone or did he move killmonger up 
he had moved up a bit. Like, he had moved kind of the whole formation up and then swapped into Killmonger and would have been in a good spot had I not been able to essentially double TK Carnage Surfer up and then hypersonic speed to get into formation. And then Spider-Man had a token on him, so he just had to move up at that point. And then he could charge Flurry and knock out the Tyrant and then somebody else in the formation as well. So he still had Jubilee, who was taking shots, and then he still had Sackman, who was still doing work, but it was kind of crippled at that point, so. Gotcha. So you so you beat the plus three at the at the, at the, the initial roll off. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. That's uh that's always uh that's always wild to see. It's a luck thing at that point, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't call it luck. I mean you can call it luck I guess, but like it's better to be lucky than good any day. Um don't let anybody and don't let anybody else to tell you otherwise. Um yep. so uh, that makes sense. So I did get to watch you and Isaac play um, a little bit, yeah. and that was a that was pretty. That was pretty uh, close to a mirror match, right? Like I think he had like a couple of small differences, but he was on Prime Spider Man Moe. Correct. Yeah, it was a very very similar matchup. He had Sakari and Iron Man, and he had uh, Saint Walker and Scott Crampton. Uh, as different from my team, which was cool and gave him a couple different options that honestly nearly cost me the game and nearly won it for him. It was, I thought I had myself in a really good defensive formation, and he was able to move up with Saint Walker, spawn the boot, kick Spider Man out of formation, and get some solid shots off him, but it wasn't enough to kill him. And if you don't kill Spider-Man in one turn, he just comes back with a vengeance. So. Right, because he gets still energy down dial, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And if he's got the Necro Sword, he's just eating stuff up. And if he gets to do it twice, you know, you can put yourself to that first click of steel energy, get him up two more clicks, Master of Evil, and all of a sudden he's one away from top dial again. It's absolutely gross. I uh, I felt that. I've uh, I've felt that. <laughs> um, so what was your final score with with Isaac? Do you remember? Like, was it a wipe on your end, or did it? No, it it, uh, it did come down to points. Um, I'm trying to remember because I was able to wipe out his Spider Man, and then. He didn't kill my Spider-Man, but he killed a couple of other things. I want to say it was like 140 to 70 or something like that. So it was it was close, but not super close. Because, like I said, once, once Spider-Man survives the turn, he's going to wipe out half the team. So... But yeah. that one did end up going to time, because it was a very placement-heavy game, a very thought heavy game because there was a lot of sure. you know if i go here this is going to happen go here this is going to happen um he had some very interesting placements with uh some terrain like you know did a hypersonic with Sackman to drop some terrain so that i lost line of fire but he also lost line of fire to the two characters so that you know it was a fair shot there was no probs on it so right stuff like that so um well, that's awesome, and um, yeah, it's a it's, a it's a it's a that's a big win. Uh, not not too many people get those wins over over Isaac. That's you, what I've heard. And you got two in one weekend. I I told Lucas that, and he's like, "Don't get used to that." So I'm uh, um, I'm taking those victories and holding on to them. So. Who knows? You might have you might have cracked the code. I wouldn't give myself that much credit. Uh, don't don't uh, don't not give yourself don't uh, don't down yourself either. Um, you know I, Isaac is a really good player, but um, absolutely, you just got to be at that top of your game at all times with him. So 
And that was the main thing that I noticed in, in my game against him. He and I both made, in my opinion, each one crucial placement mistake, which effectively changed the tide of the game. Mine was not putting Spider-Man in the middle of my formation so that he couldn't get booted out. And his was the placement of the elevated terrain, which blocked the line of fire for a couple of key probability controls, which allowed my Spider-Man to survive. If those two placements hadn't occurred, like if I hadn't placed my Spider-Man where I did, I wouldn't have been knocked around and it would have been in a much better situation. I think I would have had a better handle on that game and it wouldn't have been as much of a nail-biter. Sure. And if he hadn't placed the way he did, he probably would have won that game realistically so it's like you said it really comes down to just playing the best possible game that you can and make as few mistakes as possible mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. well that's cool um mm -hmm. so and maybe a uh in a non-spoiler version you played lucas in the finals uh, i know we've kind of uh alluded to that a couple times and uh i was uh I noticed Lucas went to the small map, and I was like, "That doesn't feel right for Lucas." Um, but uh, I was updating. Not Lucas's choice. <laughs> no, I was I was updating folks on Facebook. He has, you know, Lucas has his little had his little D twenty there, and I was like, "Here's the mission point updates," and like, yep. I'm sitting here thinking like, "This doesn't seem like this is enough, fast enough," and uh, and listen to Lucas talk about his game. It, it indeed was not enough fast enough yeah that was the main thing with lucas's team it's it was very good but it was role reliant he had to have a couple of nice roles early on to really get it going and getting a one on riddler on that perplex is such a hang-up for his team and i mean obviously it's just a what 17 percent chance of happening but when it does it really shuts down the role for his mission points right so so he so i was just so since you've played with him a lot right i was reading about all the stuff on lucas's team because um you know mission points is not something that we always cover too much here on click stuff um mm -hmm. but so the basically the the riddler goes up and perplexes somebody whatever and mm -hmm. then the frogman perplexes and the dark side perplexes and that can also that gives out roles for uh, additional mission points based on that correct okay so so it's it's a kind of a a three-pronged almost because he's got the indigo one watcher combo in the back yeah and then you've got frogman and uh all of his perplexers essentially but frogman and dark side and watcher for that matter also knock people back which gets mission points for dark side sure so it's it really becomes who do you target because all three of them are very dangerous and can stack mission points very quickly if left unchecked Yeah, so I was just reading the Riddler again. So, when okay, oh, gotcha. So, when yep. the when the Riddler uses Perplex, it can be reused. You got to give him a puzzled. Correct. And then, when an opposing character within range with a puzzled will be targeted by Perplex, one through one remove the puzzle token. So that's like that's what you don't want. That's, that's the bad one. <laughs> that's really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that one. Um, and then the two through four, two through five. So each time, five. okay. So the each time the Riddler uses Perplex, it gives him another puzzled token. Bingo, and that's where it can really start to roll because if you get two puzzled tokens on somebody, and then you have three other people use Perplex on that same character, that's a potential for six mission points in one second i mean right there right so you just can't roll it you just can't roll a one exactly and that's and that's really what it comes down to is if you can keep yourself off of the one i don't know 
how you would help yourself away from that aside from something like Grandmaster, but you're not going to invest 40 points just to... Maybe you would invest 40 points, but that's just a lot to, you know, right. take yourself off of a one that you could use for something else. You yeah, know? yeah. No, that makes sense. So, the Riddler is really where the engine comes in, I guess. Um, exactly. But again, if you if you target Riddler specifically and you don't deal with that Indigo Watcher, that's going to stack up mission points fast. And then, like I said, with the Dark Side, you also have to think about, you've got... Uh, construct generation too so if they start generating boots and knocking your folks around well they're going to get more mission points from that too sure so it's and you know uh, i played against this team a handful of times i knew where his points were at but even knowing where they're at it's still not a fun team to play against so. right and i guess the other point is is um you know i'm not being a very good um newscaster today uh we didn't actually <laughs> talk about what your full team um was either Oh, yeah. Well, that was uh, Spider Man with the Necro Sword, obviously. Um, one Masters of Evil. Uh, I was starting with Black Skull with the Black Symbiote on him. Uh, Mephisto with the Yellow Ring. I had Venom Magneto with the uh, Cloak of Levitation. And then I had. Burnish Silver Surfer. Was your commissioner? Was your surfer commit? Was your surfer commit? Uh, was your surfer equipped? No, I left him unequipped on purpose to deal with King Killmonger. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, because I mean, you can give him the symbiote, which is nice, but it's not essential for him to work, in my opinion. Really, as long as Spider Man can get one or two kills he doesn't need anything he's he's already cracking for so much damage mm -hmm. nope that that totally makes sense um yeah and that's what uh so coos alex had pointed out that um the um prime spider-man heals uh carnage silver surfer mm -hmm. that was kind of my prime strategy with that team depending on the matchup obviously was to send out spider-man get a couple of those easy kills if there's you know a tent pole character that can be taken out with those first couple of attacks go for that obviously but any kills is going to get carnage surfer rolling and then he can just follow up on that next turn and even if they've killed spider-man sometimes you can still carry out with him so right so um we did get a few questions for you that i want to cover i did mention on our facebook uh post that we were interviewing you tonight and i want to talk about those before we move to retirement um i gotta find it real quick all right here we go um so a lot of folks want to know if you want to play the same thing at worlds uh jeff um that was Jeff Dumas. Um, so, like, Jay Major wants to know, uh, he says, congratulations. Um, and then, how high is your confidence going into world? So, you know, you don't have to reveal all your secrets, right, if you don't want to, but, um, of course. you know, um, are, how are you feeling on Prime Spider-Man uh, going into worlds? Uh, and where does... Uh, um, because did we talk about that at the start of the show? Remind me, Alex and Jason. Did we talk about that at the start of the show or before the show? I think that was before. Before the show. Before yeah, the yeah. show. Okay. All right. That's fine. So. Yep. I think so. <laughs> um, I had to think about that. Yeah. yeah. We've been talking for a while. As you can see, we, we like to talk, obviously. We do a podcast. Um, so, you know, how you feel on Prime Spider-Man and where he sets going into Worlds and... Uh, do you think Prime Spider-Man's the, the web slinger for you next month? I feel good about him. I think that he's got a lot of promise, even though people are going to be ready for him. Like, everybody's going to be planning for how to deal with Spider-Man, but all of the teams that I've thought about to try and deal with him, 
there's something that he can still do to get out of it. Like, you know, when you put him in a rune marker, he can just run right out of the rune marker and still do his subconscious crime fighting and stuff like that. You know, he's a he's still a danger to switch. If they put her right up next to him, he can still just, if he hits doubles, she's dead. You know, knock her back into a wall. So, he still has a lot of options. I'm not sure if I'll play him. I mean, he's, he's what I'm seasoned with. He's what I'm known, but he's what I know. But I don't know. I kind of want to try something else. So, but I, I think you're going to see a lot of Prime Spider-Man coming up. Yeah. I mean, I, I've never had um, an issue with Prime Spider-Man and Switch. Um, mm -hmm. I, and that's not to you know brag or anything. It's just that doubles oh, thing. Sure. That that doubles thing, right? Like you just put your switch next to your Inquisitor, and yep. if they roll doubles, well, you just send it to the Inquisitor, right? And that's it, a fair way to yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. So it's yeah. And if they and if they going to be ways people think to deal with it, right? And if they and if you and if they don't roll doubles. Right, let's just say they roll a three and a four. Mm -hmm. Just take it. Yeah, absolutely. And then go to the invincible click and yeah. You know, start start to heal up from there, that sort of thing. So um you know, there's different way you know, there's always a different ways to, to slice a whatever, cut the bacon. Um mm -hmm. but um you know the 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 problem is from my experience, and this is goes, I want to I want to uh, reference um, Jeff Dumas's question here is uh, how many times, and this is for everybody kind of, how many times have you changed up your team leading to worlds, and is it better to mix it up or stick to a team? Um, and my opinion when it comes to like worlds level play is to stick with the team that you know. Um, I agree. But, Jeff, what I was going to say there is when it comes to Spider-Man and Switch and that sort of thing, and maybe this is even advice for you, Alex, is um, the Switch version that works well, TJ, Sam, and I tweaked that team, I think, five or six different times from when we played it at our first states in Ohio. Mm -hmm. and you know is it major structural changes one or two of them were but it, it, I think my point would be Prime Spider-Man's very hard to prepare for mm -hmm. like Jason Alex y'all chime in here like what handles a Prime Spider-Man a, a, a rune Right. That, I but, mean, that's that's the most obvious answer would be yeah. the rune, but the problem right. is keeping him in the rune. You know, what do you what do you set next to him to stop him from just running out of there, or having a venom magneto TK him out of the rune? Well, yeah. So that was one of the first lessons we learned was out with the venom magnetos TK. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you can do that, um, you know, barrier does help keep him in. You know, stop sign. Yep. Keeps killing. Yeah, I, d I don't know if there's. I mean, there's probably like specific pieces that m might, but they're not something you can easily just add to any team, right? It's there's probably yeah. there's mm -hmm. probably something in, like some random set that's like, oh, this this would help. Like, oh, he's ready to strike next time when we're able to remove a token from him. So he's only got he's got no tokens turn two. So now he's he's not going to be able to get that second token to be able to make the third attack. I don't know, something crazy like that. But it's right. not something you can easily add to a team yeah. and be like, yeah, that's cool. I've, I've got that piece on there for him. I'm great. Right. Yeah, I mean, Peeper... Or you have to invest 100 points to do it. Yeah, right. I mean, I mean, Peeper Tyrant is a big deal. Um, yeah, oh, absolutely. But, um, man, that, that requires a very specific, you know, set of teams i think you know to make that work really well um so um now let me ask you this question since you're since you're currently the world's leading player of prime spider-man 
um, the current dis undisputed head Spider-Man player. Um, what do you feel about Prime Spider-Man after rotation? I think he's still dirty. I think he's still going to be really good. I mean, even losing the Necro Sword, the ability to take out as much support as he does, even if you're not swinging on their hard to hit super senses and stuff pieces, I think he's still going to be solid. Mm -hmm. So, because I mean, being able to double target with super strength, knock people back, mm -hmm. I and mean, the dude can deal. What's the math? Like 20 clicks in a turn by himself? Yeah, I mean, if you count the not back. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, if he ever gets I, that... I'll still be... Even after rotation, I'll still play him. Right. Um, yeah, I think when he... I'm being mean, at least. Well, yeah. And it's not being <laughs> mean, right? I mean, we, we play these we play these uh, competitive events to, to stretch our minds, to stretch ourselves, to, to play at our best, and and go from oh there. absolutely no i i guess i was more talking about like locally oh yeah play play spider-man on competitive for sure but i mean to bring that to to local night is you really want to win that bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so so alex i will mention this we we do in our facebook group which you're not a part of because you're not on facebook you need to be is um <laughs> <laughs> is uh we do when we when we aren't playing um pulp locally uh we do yeah. post our teams up we do fun or fun foul um so we sure. used to like have uh i wouldn't say but close to um close to knock down knock down drag out stuff of arguments and we said you know what no more arguments about who's playing what on a weekly basis it is yeah. it is decided slow, solely by our Facebook uh, commenters um, to tell us what uh, what we do and do uh, how bad or good we are towards each other in our weekly events. Um, I like that. So, um, well, congratulations again, and thanks for telling us our story, um, telling us your story. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next month. So, absolutely. Um, Thank you for having me on. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we everybody wants to hear your opinion as well. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. Rotation was announced, um, and man, it's a lot. But um, golly, I am I am so hyped. <laughs> you know. I really, really, really hope that we can get events after rotation by the end of the year. Uh, I'm not too hopeful. I think we are going to be able to get our Clickstaff Classic scheduled before the end of the year. Um, working on that this week. And, uh, but man, I want to see some more events with this refreshed, non necro sorted, non dial blanken. <laughs> you know meta no that scarab. we can see no scarab yeah, yeah. No scarab. that falls under dial blanking um man um i've been playing with tyrant since spring of 2021 and scarab and all those secret sixes um so but real quick for those that didn't see the announcement uh fantastic four spider-man venom and carnage house of x F -f 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 Wonder Woman 80, X Men Rise and Fall, Avengers Fantastic Four Empire, War of the Realms, Disney Plus are the main sets being retired along with all the other little stuff. Um, you know what I find so funny is that fa the God Doom and Fantastic Four, he was around when knockback damage started. Because I, I, I remember KOing one in a Bronze Age game with knockback damage. And then he was around for a rules change with no knockback damage, and then he made it back around for knockback damage to return. Um, so, the circle of life. The circle of life. So, uh, what we do, what we want to do is we're going to step through each of the main sets here, and we are going to go with our... Oh... That's retiring. 
and at least one, I'm going to allow more than one fuck out of here's for each set. <laughs> so, um, I don't want to be too reminiscent when we want to talk about fuck out of here's. Um, so, um, Alex, do, do you, do you want to go? Did you, do you have some ready? Have you been thinking about this since we started? Or do you want, or you want, you want us to have somebody else go first? You're the guest of honor today, so. Okay, I was wondering which Alex you were talking to, so I was just making sure you were referring to me. First, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, uh, uh, you're, you're the, you're the main Alex for today. Um, sorry, 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 other Alex. <laughs> Um, I guess, what do you, do you, what side do you want to start? Uh, with? so Fantastic Four. So let's all do our awes and then we'll do our fuck out of here's. So I might just have to be a skip on this one because, uh, I didn't play when this set came out at all and I've seen very, very little from this set. Okay. And I'm literally just scrolling through the list right now looking at it and I'm like, I'm not going to miss anything, man. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, all right, uh, AC, other Alex, I know that you've got some love for some Fantastic Four, so what's your awe from this set? Um, oh, that's a tough love. one. That's a tough one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Probably, I don't want to say swap. I'll probably just say Franklin. That's the easy answer, right? Franklin Richards. Yeah, that's okay. The king of pickup powers. All right, Alvin. Uh, he's my awe. Yeah, for sure. Alvin. Well, I don't have a first name anymore. What? No, we're all last names <laughs> except for Alex. That's yeah. what we switched it to. Yeah, Jason. <laughs> I just. <laughs> It's, I'm trying, I gotta say, once I get on a certain brain, brain wavelength, I just stay there. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Valeria Richards. Ooh, that's a good one. I, I love that piece. Yeah. And, not, uh, and to a lesser extent, the chase Valeria Von Doom. Yeah. Um, so my... Uh, I, I don't have a lot of love for this set in general. Um, you know, but it was the return of the Fantastic Four. Um, but, uh, I will say, ah, I did have some success and I did like playing with him, Franklin Von Doom. Yeah, so, this set, this set came, Jul what, June, July of 2020? That's so this right. was kind of mid COVID. Mid COVID? Yeah. yeah. So it was kind of that we were all excited, but we didn't really get to play. I mean, it's got its time, but it didn't get the hype that it should have gotten in the midst of it releasing. That's right. Yeah, it was mid-pandemic. It was awful time. I mean, that's been modern legal for over three years now. So, um, what was a figure in that set you thought you were going to see more of that just kind of fizzled? Uh, what you can think of? God Doom. Um, yeah. Super Scroll, Super Rare. Jason played four of them out okay. of states at one time. Mm hmm. Sure did. All right. Um, fuck out of here, um, Alex. I got one. Oh, well, oh, you, all right, you're ready. You want to go first? Okay, Jason, go for it. <laughs> you Dead better. Thing can get oh, my gosh, thing. you're going to take mine. I knew <laughs> yeah, you. Was, I knew you were going was, to. That was mine, too. That was mine, too. <laughs> I was just looking at that one because that's actually the only one that I'm, like, aware of from this set that's really annoying. So I'm glad that I'm on the same page with you guys, at least. So. <laughs> yeah, unanimous. A unanimous <laughs> fuck out of here to Dad thing. Um, so I, I don't, I don't want to bore y'all with a, with a Thanos story, but dad thing <laughs> and the fantastic four were the reason that I got onto Thanos originally because of this, that silly ass dad thing, having unoutwittable and defense power and taking six damage to KO. So any rate, um, 
it is dad thing's fault that I became fixated <laughs> on Thanos last year. Um, so <laughs> fuck that sure. here. Blame it on your dad. I can I can hear it now. I can, I could hear Dad, Grandpa's talking about Thanos again. Oh my god! I didn't want to mention it, but it is funny. It is funny. A unanimous oh, man. A unanimous. I want to like compile all the clips of Dan talking about Thanos into one like five hour show. Oh my gosh! You probably could. <laughs> we we are cut out of it. None of yeah. us are on it. It's just it's just, yeah. it's just five hours of Dan talking. But about man, Thanos. that like, stupid ass Dad thing. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, I, I'm with, I'm with you on that. It. I mean, that Fantastic Four team was well engineered. You know, it had a couple of really good players play it, and but golly, just fuck out of here, Dad. Thing, um, I can't think of anything else that I was really I'm really glad to see leave from that set. Um, I guess as much as I do like Franklin Richards and I like to pick a power, I am glad to see him go. Um, because I always rolled bad with him, and whenever I played against somebody, they didn't roll bad for his Franklin pick a power rolls. Uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, but he's probably my he's my awe and fuck out of here at the same time. Um, but um, there was a lot of other good stuff in that set. Black Leopard, you know, had mixed success throughout all of that. But we don't want to go through every single figure that was good or bad. Um, but uh, SVAC, I want to go first with my Oz since Jason stole my dad thing last time. <laughs> um, I'm going to say ah to the final, pretty much the final hurrah of Autonomous um, and, mm. all, and all of the secret identity figures. Uh, tons of great utility and, um, you know, of course, MJW being in the top of those. Um, and just being a fantastic, fantastic, well-designed mechanic. Uh, that I mean, I... we still have autonomous. You know that, right? Is it worth a shit? I mean, Oracle and Iconics, uh, the robot ants from Invisible Ant-Man. So, like, it remains to be seen. It's not as crazy as the, obviously, the paparazzi. But yeah, so it's, it's not it's gone. Right. The answer is no. It's not well, gone. they're still throwing it on bystanders. Gotcha. Right? Like, yeah, uh, it's still been their mug bond. That's fair, but it is. We thought it they is. were, like, completely getting rid of it, but they're still printing it. So there's still hope. So, ah, to Secret Identity. Uh, Alex? I was disappointed that I did not get to play at the height of the spider chases. All of those were mm -hmm. just so cool to me. And, like I said, I didn't start playing until after this set was past really even available so i never even bought a single single pack of this set so i really yeah the spider chases are all really cool and i always love seeing them right um alex i mean he just went so no um <laughs> I'll go again. Yeah, just, I really just like keep the going. chases. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess from my all, I would say it's pr like I know you said the secret identities, but like the secret identities that everyone like always like hyped up, but then literally just never really saw play is what I'm thinking of, like the Eddie Brocks, mm -hmm. that the Aaron Davis or whatever, like the ones where you're like, this is. This is a cool piece. Like this has potential, and then it's like, nope, it it, it <laughs> didn't because it, it just it didn't get played. All the times you might reach for, it and you're like, oh yeah, Flash Thompson could go on an Avenger team. Mm -hmm. No, that 35 points is a little too expensive, and they could just ignore him, and he never gets to go turn into like Venom or Anti Venom. Mm -hmm. So, it, I would say an all to the to the pieces that to this. Secret identities that just didn't get to have their spotlight because it was a cool mechanic and the ones they made were cool. It's just, I don't know, that point cost just somehow 35 was too much for some of them when you had Mary Jane at 15. So, uh, Jason, uh, I'm gonna miss, uh, I'll say, all to uh, Miles Miles West, Chief of the Spider Police. 
Chief of the mm. Spider he'll, Police. He'll be missed. He'll, he'll be missed. I like that. I like that. Um, and you know what? I'd be interesting. I want to hear it from y'all. If y'all have one at all. Um, what's your fuck out of here for this set? Necro this Sword. Good. Get to Are we, yeah, is I mean, this another... <laughs> Uh, sorry, I guess you know what you're right. I was thinking about figures, um, but uh, so let me. That let me, was gonna let, be another unanimous. From yeah, us. Let me let me yeah. let me. Uh, let me... If it's a figure, Null can take his necro sword and fuck out of here with it. <laughs> right? Is there right. is there a figure, regardless of his attachment to the necro sword, that you're glad to see leave? Hmm. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't think so. Right, like maybe, uh, maybe Mary Jane Watson in Pulp, but Marbella? man, she was just she wasn't that hard to KO though. But she still was annoying. Like fifteen points for barrier, but and she making, just like there's certain know. pieces where it's like she just seems un I, she just seems unoffensive though for for that. Yeah, but, I just but, don't find her offensive. Yeah. See, it, it isn't pointed, but it's not. That well, okay, bad. but it, it's one where it's like, I'm happy she's gone because that raises the cost. Well, you got rings now, I guess, but it just those two, Mary Jane and Marvella, were just so undercosted. Anytime you were building a team, you're like, well, I clearly need to have both of them on there. Like, it, it just became a hassle. Of, I'm glad they're gone because it's. I don't have to worry about trying to fit them. Not not lately, obviously, but yeah. There, I guess it's a different kind of like. I'm happy they're gone than we're we're used to talking about. I'm happy they're gone because it was just too easy. And also, adding celebrity to Spider Man family at mm -hmm. the time was huge, and it just made some crazy theme teams with all the Disney Plus pieces. So yeah, that's true. I'm I'm okay with her her leaving. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm okay with her leaving. I wouldn't give her the designation of "fuck out of here," though. No, I don't. I don't hate anything from this set. Right. Don't, don't kick her out the door. Politely show her the door. All right. Um, House of X. Jason, I'll allow you to give your awe first because I'm I'm hoping that you're going to uh, give the same awe that I'm gonna that I'm thinking you are. I'm not uh, not sure that I'm ready yet. Uh, okay. You know right. I don't I don't know I don't yeah I'll come back around. Well, uh, are you sure? Can I can I give you what I think your answer should be? Go for it. <laughs> you're the world's best player for this piece. <laughs> You placed uh, the absolute highest it ever did in a tournament of any size. Oh, yeah. Poor Juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we've got to at least mention that for Spees. Um, yeah. Poor Juggernaut. I did love Juggernaut. Give Spees a little bit of a shout out for that. Um, but um, my... I don't know if I'm gonna not. I don't have an awe here. I, I want to save it for two fuck out of here's. Yeah, we could do that. We we could just trade. We could just trade that in. I know both of them actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a. It, it's it's like uh It's like whose line is it anyways? Uh, the rules are made up and the points don't matter. So, um, like do y'all have any other awes? I actually do. I'm okay. Kind of sad to see Karima go. All right. And it's mm. primarily for pulp more than anything Fair. else. Yeah. But yeah, just a cool little rare. Uh, That's pretty much it. <laughs> Cousinator. You yeah, yeah. gonna change change the name every time? I'm just trying to come up with all the cool versions of it. Gotcha. You have um, a you have a cool last name, Alex. Like. That's that's arguable, but sure. It's it's unique, that's for sure. Well, <laughs> it's unique. I think it's cool as well. So, um, I don't have a specific figure. There's just kind of a couple figures that are, like, I wish could have seen more play. So it's kind of like an awe of, hey, man, I'm sorry it didn't work out. Like, Mother, I wish that worked out a little better for you as a title character. You, you weren't bad as a title character. Like, you were probably the first 
title character we had in a while that was actually solid, but it it just it didn't work out. She was she was on my Juggernaut team. Great. Well, uh, <laughs> sure. But like besides that, there's just a couple others that I'm like, well, it's okay. Better luck next time. Yeah. Yeah, I got one more. Uh, okay, go for uh, it. Emperor, Emperor Vulcan. Oh yeah, Prime Emperor Vulcan. Mm -hmm. He was fun. I will say, I, I do have another one as well. Surprisingly, okay. This is an offer. This is an offer, Krakoa. Because okay. he's a, he's yeah. a piece I always looked at. I'm like, that's a cool mechanic. Like the whole, you make those hindering markers and. They could take a power action and just yeet across the map. Um, it's a cool concept, and it just never really came to fruition as well as it should have. But for 40 points, it was a, a pretty cool concept. All right, any other Oz going once? No, I'm good. All right, nope. Cracks Knuckles. <laughs> can anybody guess do, do, do we need to mm. even guess the listeners don't need to even I mean, guess right. it's pretty obvious yeah. the yeah. PTSD is coming out for both these figures yeah fuck out of here maggot fuck out of here jubilee yup <laughs> maggot's the most, one of the most undercosted broken figures that never got a hint of an errata um that uh was just entirely overtuned for his point value and point and clicks. Uh, I mean, there's a team designed entirely around that figure, so yeah, yeah. that makes perfect sense. Exactly. Um, and then Jubilee, it's fair enough, you were fine, but you're on outwittable shape change and you're getting rid of my barrier. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Um, any She's other trash now? She, you know, Necro Sword. Just like, see ya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prime well, Spider Man. Thing about Prime Spider Man eats her. Can get rid of actual like uh terrain markers now too. Yeah. Like, which is a whole nother level of annoying. Right, and Molly, and like, and you can convert objects to, and score them. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, um, no. and then a subtle. A subtle F out of here to Chase A for just being the best Krakoan revival piece. Um, y'all have any F y'all have any F out of here? Nah, I'm good. I think you hit it, man. <laughs> I was almost leaning towards Karima just because she is a little too annoying and pulp. Alright. Fair <laughs> enough. I mean, yeah, I can agree with that. Just because she goes with the Sinisters, so it's like, yeah, she's the only attack piece I need. Let me just go with the Sinisters and the you can't or Sinister and yeah. all of that. You can't do anything. Cream is the only piece I need. And it's like, alright, I'll take her out. Well, maybe not. You're not wrong. I mean, with a Nice twenty D friends from range, pop her into some hindering twenty one. It's like, yeah, you really only need one sinister at that point. You're not gonna hit her. So And right. she's never dropping below three damage. So it's like she's always hurting you pretty bad. And cutting through stop clicks. Mm-hmm. Like night blue marble. Uh um, I can I can understand that. All right, um, F, 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 There's a lot of good ones in here, I think, that are Oz. Um, I, I say if Tyler Spees was here, he would say Uwatu. <laughs> was, was Uwatu our first mission point character to be errated? Was he our uh, first sleep. mission point character? <laughs> um, I think this set introduced it. That sounds we about did. right, and I think he would both. I think yeah. he was the first mission point character and the first one that had to be errated. Which uh, makes sense. It's like, this is a cool concept. Let's do it. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So my ah uh, is going to be the Doom Chases. Um, Dang. I know. I went ahead and got it out there because I had quite a bit of considerable success for them. They were a very... <laughs> In hindsight, as of today, or as of Avenger 60 release, they are not worth a crap at all because the new version of them in 20 from 2021 to 2023, they became 25 points less, and instead of swapping once at the beginning of the game, they became shifting focus. So could you could you imagine though these dooms <laughs> if they could swap like that though? <laughs> it wouldn't be any crazier than the MOE chases. Like I don't know I don't know inherently if they would be better because obviously the, a lot of their powers are determined by beginning of the game like Doctor Thing and yeah and Dop the DJ Doom but like if they rework these and be like we're re like legacy cards ah, legacy cards for all of them we're reworking them oh my God. like. I'd be that'd be fun. These were fun figures. They were easy. Most of them were easy to KO. Like it wasn't like it was difficult. You just had to pop them twice, and they'd be dead. That's why they're not played very much now, because they're very very easy to kill. But they were effective. Like the things they did were enough to turn off certain teams, like Lord Doom. Doom, like the robot, and mm -hmm. poor thing, Alfred Doctor Thing. Clearly, <laughs> um, Alex, what's yours? Can I? I want to. I'm guessing yours, but I'm hoping you say it. Uh, sorry, uh, Alex Coos. Me? Um, oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about the champ. No, I, it oh, sounded oh, like oh. you're. Um. My all? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, the fact that you know it and I don't. Yeah. Is a little tricky. I mean, Nathaniel would be pretty close. Yeah, that's what I was going with for you. Yeah, he'd be pretty close. He he was a he was clutch for when they were kind of getting rid of pick of powers or supposedly getting rid of it. Him being able to just be there for 25 and, hey, you don't need this object, right? Here's a standard attack power for you. Mm -hmm. um, that was pretty solid. Um, he was a solid little piece to just chill there. So, yeah, that, that's a good one. Uh, Champ Alex? Honestly, I don't really have anything in this set that I'm disappointed to lose. Jason? Um... High Evolutionary, the non-prime. Yeah. I liked him a lot. Now, I want to start out with the polarizing one. Because, obviously, I'm very excited. I've played this piece a lot. But probably most everybody will be excited to see him go up into the point of an F out of here. But that's Molecule Man. <gasps> yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs> you could probably say the same for all of the equipment in this set. The uh, the yeah, uh, yeah let's oh, see. Yeah. Well, Psycho the... Man can probably take his emo mod and get out. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. the fire, the nullifier, the, the emotional the modifier, clay. the radioactive clay, uh and even time platform. The, even the time, time platform. <laughs> yeah. The time platform yeah, making scarabs, very... making scarabs, um, uh, danger room constructs is super. super even then, even the nullifier. Yeah. Yeah. So the motion, the emo Madi, I'm a little, little torn on. Like, it had its purpose. It was great. Well, I mean, if imagine the world with I know Thanos. If we didn't have the emotional modifier, uh, he would have probably got an errata much earlier because. <laughs> The emotional modifier was kind of our only method of, okay, well, we all can't get mind controlled, so there's at least that. But I'm, it's one of our only ways to equip Battle Fury, and so that's why I'm a little sad to see it go. But mm -hmm. I'm not, a, I'm not sad to be to once again say, oh no, all of your attacks are minus one. I totally turned the emotional modifier to that last turn and just didn't say it. My bad. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's. It was too powerful, I think, of a, a an equipment. 
Yeah. I will miss the surfboard, though. Hulk enjoyed surfing on the surfboard. <laughs> Indeed, I would. I guess I should have poured one out for the potion, man. The potion gave out some good stuff. It was just way too random. And the fire was so not random that they <laughs> had to change it. Um, but as far as other figures in the set, um, I can't think of any other ones that are really uh, egregious. Um, no, there's there's not really like. Mm -mm. I agree. I think this... it was all the equipment. Yeah, all the equipment. All right, Wonder Woman eighty. Um, oh boy! Yeah, oh, this is where they all are. <laughs> this is where they. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of. I mean. How about this? I think we we all know our fuck out of here, right? Scary. Oh, yeah. You mean you mean our like five of them? Yeah. Like, this, this, this whole set just get the fuck out. Yeah, I, I, mean... I yes, I Jason. You know what? I I think I think I would agree with that exactly. Just it was a fantastic set. It was great, great sealed set. It doesn't get mentioned enough because this was the set that raised yeah, a lot of problems because because it was the one that they started dialing back powers. They came out and said, we're, we're, oh, there's no oh, invincible. I, I thought it was an awful sealed set. I thought it was great because they dialed back powers. So it's like you had specific counters to specific things. It's like, oh, I've got this piece that's strong with invincible. Okay, well, I've got the one that has Pensai. Okay, well, I've got this one. Yeah. I thought it was boring as hell in Seal because, like, the C-U-R was awful. So I was... I missed this set, and I was disappointed because I wanted to play more of this set because I really liked, like, the super rares and the chases. I heard Zeus was a problem in Sealed. Um, Zeus was really great in Sealed, yes. At 175 yeah. points mm -hmm. with 19 defense prop control like just multiple stop clicks like just pulling him made it kind of a uh, easy mode activated mm -hmm. yeah for sure well i mean you did have apollo mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. could somewhat help against him because he did have pensai for the image like 11 attack it wasn't terrible apollo yeah. was a, a good uncommon that kind of helped balance a little bit because there was always at least somebody that got him but you're right. There, there was, there was a lot of low point figures. You know, the soldiers, the warriors, all the generics. The mid, goodness knows, everyone who bought that set had probably like at least a hundred minotaurs in their in that jacket mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. some point. I have a big <laughs> baggie of those sitting in a in a like tote over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, and, and they're massive too. It's not like they're little <laughs> minutes. They were massive. Like I remember those. You guys remember the boosters that were so heavy because you got the Minotaur and yeah. you got yeah. the the um the Uncaught Ferdinand. Yeah, they're like laying on top of each other. Yes, right. yes. <laughs> and you're like, this has to be something. And it's like, nope, that's a Minotaur. Put that back. <laughs> yeah, don't want that one for sure. Mm hmm. Um, I will give an awe for this set um, for Shifting Focus Wonder Woman. Um, okay. She was great. Like mean, the whole well, what did you what did you call it? Incapphobia or something? Uh, lassophobia. Lassophobia. Yeah, lassophobia, which I believe is like the fear of, um, like water. Yeah, deep like water. Open water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, but I did it because it's it's and, she comes over and lassos you, and then G Prime Giganta came over and punched you as an alpha okay. strike. Um, it was effective. It was fun. It wasn't overpowered. Because if you, if you miss any of those, it's you've got a lot of recovering to do. But it was a cool concept. It was the t first time they kind of explored equipment going with the shifting focus. Um, and it was fun for a hot minute until it just wasn't as effective anymore. That's so right. I'll give an all out for Wonder Woman and Prime Giganta as that but, combo. So I would like to say this set is two and a half years old. And I will do a quick run through of like just not just the generics or the the sorry the constructs figures that might be seen in top sixteen of worlds 
from a set that's two and a half years old. <laughs> Star Sapphire, Felix Faust, yep. Le- uh, Super Rare Lex Luthor, Chip. Oh, really? Lex oh, Luthor? Uh, I don't know about from it. the split from World's Finest. Um, Scarab, Sky Tyrant, Commissioner. O- yeah. o- almost like guaranteed um, for some of those. Um, but yeah, well designed set, super great set, super powerful set. But golly, just, just some of this shit should have been out there. They should have done. I think what they should have done was two retirements this year. Like, did the June retirement. And did the September retirement just to get it back on track, but yeah, Eddie, Felix Faust can just get the fuck out. I'm no, so tired. Uh, Felix, Faust. Faust. Oh Felix, Faust, Felix Faust is probably the sole reason why I had a zero zero against Ken. Ugh, I yeah, hate that Arab and, so much. Arab and Faust can both piss off. Yep, I do have to toss an off for uh, Prime Wonder Woman. A super rare mm. the black lantern a good or a bad thing she's so much fun i liked her like she wasn't great but she was just fun to play with and even better when you could just give her equipment and you didn't have to work around trying to get it you know because you could give her the sort of athena but you know to be able to start her with any of the equipment was really nice so yeah she's leaving as soon as we're getting some new black lanterns I know. Yeah. She wouldn't have benefited that much, to be honest. No. But, but she was but. just so much fun with the double stop click on the end. It would just catch people by surprise sometimes. So Yeah. She was um, kind of tough to put down. But yeah, my my big I can't wait for them to leave, like screw them. I can't mm-hmm. wait for Flash. Just get out of here. Oh, I'll miss Flash. I no, like Flash. I, I like Flash. I hated Chip and Flash or Teen Lantern and Flash to be like, hey, here's my whole team in your <laughs> face because I'm just charging. I And I still get to hit you twice, maybe, like, for 30 points. I just get and to go across the map. Like, even more so now with the constructs because you can bring an entire team and drop four constructs and just go to town on people. Yeah, he would not have been as bad if he'd never had team player. If they took away team player... It's like he's still an incredibly effective piece. The the TK still incredibly good. He was a but great team player. <laughs> him? No, he's not a team player. He's a Green Lantern. That's what he is. That's that's because he's a great team player. He's no, nice. just pr- print him the keyword. <laughs> that's all they need to do. That's what he is now. They were they were best buddies, and you know it. They should yeah. have just given him the Green Lantern team mm-hmm. ability, but they decided, mm-hmm. okay, that's too strong. Let's just give him team player. So at least they have to copy it. Like. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he was best friends with Teen Lantern or Chip. I'll have to go back to the like, Hey, Him and Hal. Right? Oh, Flash yeah. Let's look, look at that. Flash <laughs> look at Hal. Bromance. Like, hello. I, oh, that's a, you know, that's a good one. Is um, Pour one out, I guess, for Hal. Hal Jordan, yeah. The original, yeah. The original Green Lantern that was like solid for a while because it's like he's really the only one beside obviously there was chip but he's like hey he actually has other keywords that we can use for other things and he saw like a minute in the sun and then everyone's like nah forget it we got we got other yep other green lanterns to use <laughs> that is correct <laughs> um all right moving us along um x-men rise and fall Mm. I have feelings. Um, oh, hey, I know this set. Yeah. So <laughs> did, you finally, did you finally start playing in this one? This is where I came into the game. <laughs> nice. Um, well, then, uh, Champ, give us your first one. Dude, I'm going to miss Blackheart. Like, he was the first super rare that I pulled and actually started playing from this set. And then I pulled a second one and played double Blackheart for a while. And as annoying as it was for everybody I played against, it was just so much fun. So I'm gonna miss Blackheart. Uh, Alex, 
I mean, the obvious answer is Emperor Gladiator. So I'll probably just go with the obvious answer because <laughs> he was just super solid. He, he was on my shifting focus Wonder Woman team at first for, I believe, Soldier or something like that. I, or maybe not theme. I don't remember. But then he came back for <laughs> the... I, I played him like two or three times, most recently being at the Champion Clicks event in January. And so he was solid almost every single time. So, yeah, I'll pour one out for him because he wasn't one that was like overly like, oh man, this guy's. I never want to see him because he's just incredibly like. He wasn't as annoying because there were worse pieces out there. At least I felt. Makes sense. Jason? Mm, let's see. I want to pour one out for Corsair. Oh, I he like helped that. Win me. He helped win me a factory set. <laughs> nice. That's true. Um, yeah. And then, um, so the first Hero Clicks for Huntington's event in 2021. Is that what you're talking about, Jason? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he. Yeah, um, I had. I had talking so I about played... forty-five point Corsair, the yeah. uncommon. So the, it was a, it was a theme, like a, a theme event, right? And I played. Oh, okay. okay. But it was uh, you know, uh, and I played the Summers family. So I had Corsair, Havoc, um, and Cyclops, and Vulcan. And oh, okay. I, I I for I had such horrible die luck in that tournament that it oh, won yes. me that it won me a fantastic. A, Fantastic Four Feature Foundation Factory set. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah. All right. Uncommon Corsair. Maybe yeah. Cut. Um, Love to see it. My awe uh, from this set. Um, I think y'all guys have taken all of mine. Um, so I don't think I have any any other one necessarily um but my fuck out of here dr Moore mctaggart yeah yep yeah. hey, <laughs> kick that bitch out <laughs> you don't get we guaranteed ones on turn one nope <laughs> they're no. so much fun though critical misses on turn two is my favorite thing in the morning <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get shot at with your coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my gosh. And the thing was, I'm is not like the sarcasm on hard enough. Well, and the thing is, <laughs> yeah. is like they didn't print. It's like they forgot they printed Mora because yeah, exactly. she didn't. Like I don't even think she handed out any rally dies that were worth a darn. Uh, mimic, whoa, 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 mimic. Whoa, whoa. You are disregarding my. Actually, I'm sorry. I have to go back. Actually, pour one out for long shot. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. I well, loved long shot, and that was my first introduction to rally dice. Was a triple target crit hit on three flashes because of that <laughs> free rally die. Oh, I I was hooked, man. Like still reach for him in pulp all day. Yeah. So yes. That's true. You know they probably they probably wanted yeah. to forget they made this set because it just sucked ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, and Mora did hand out rally dice to the make. I would set man. I would be uh, I mean, I'd be remiss if I didn't add that in. But this is like one of the worst sets in recent history. I mean, yeah, you mean from your that. opinion? I don't think from a from a meta standpoint. No, it was groundbreaking because. I, like with the one I can't wait to see go is Professor I mean, Rats. top to bottom, it's just one of the worst sets like that they've ever done overall. Yeah, yeah we can't. We can't uh, forget. No, we haven't gotten to that yet. <laughs> We're like a couple away from that. I think. Then, other, other than like a hand, just a hand, like a, two or three figures, it was like just gross. it was awful. I'm sorry. Like I, I'm, I'm surprised. Emma Frost was fun. Yeah, this has got the really good Emma Frost off the ID card. Super rare Emma Frost that could shoot through everything. That nobody plays? Yeah. I, I played her off the ID card. Yeah, but well, <laughs> ID cards don't count. Like if, she could, if she could move and do anything, that'd be great. But yeah. She like, fair. it's very yeah. clear how, how much recency bias is because I definitely think Moyer would not have been your top pick. 
I think Professor X would have absolutely been the top pick. Just like including a new swap that includes like 400 different figures and yeah. just has been as a staple for the meta for, let's see, two years to where it's just like, hey, there's, yeah, it feels like six years. It feels like a decade we've been dealing with this of just like, hey, everyone's an X-Men. Everyone gets a swap. Right. I, I remember, like, yeah, like, I remember like doing the, the unboxing video for this when WizKid sent us this and opening up Professor X the first time, just cackling because after I read his power, yeah, I knew how bad it was gonna be, right. yeah. And and just for Jason, uh, this is for you. I say a big uh, f you to Legacy Cyclops. Man, that, that thing <laughs> pissed me off. God, what, they ruined my boy. They were so rough on my boy. You didn't like, deserve that. <laughs> like just get out of here like they yeah. just gave they just gave the new legacy card to invisible woman like did another legacy card for the same figure like mm -hmm. for this deadpool one i know cyclops is not weapon x at all but you know what just to, for justice like go ahead and just reprint this one with it being better just reprint um, his original card for like 10 points less let's do it it's like this doesn't even make sense. There's no ID cards. Why did they print it like this? <laughs> well, just cut that part off and take off ten points. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's true. Um. But yeah. Oh, Master Mold does lose his Sentinels, Alex. Uh, that's okay. Um. I mean, no big deal. He's got new ones. He's got Orcus soldiers and all sorts of other stuff. And who knows what we'll see Thanks. in the Deadpool set. Maybe we'll get one or two other Sentinel pieces. True. Bring in that Phoenix Sentinel. Yeah. All right. Uh, Empire movie. Or, sorry, Empire movie. Eternals movie. Nothing much there except for the rare sprite. This uh, whole set could just go. It was. It was. It came out. The pandemic hit that set in the ass unfortunately no uh, no no uh, yeah it, it did because it was supposed to come out remember the Eternals movie was supposed to come out at the start of the pandemic and it was delayed over a year wasn't it also the fact that mm. all, all of these dials were before the rules change of Wonder Woman and they, so that, that goes along with what you're saying yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we we got all these new like here's how the new rules works, and then we got this set, and it's like, that doesn't work as well as it should. Like, a lot of this is over-costed, or, yeah. you know, a lot of this stuff just looks weird because we got Wonder Woman, and those rules changed, and mm -hmm. so certain things changed with it, and so this set is just bad because nothing fits. It would have fit potentially more prior to the rules change, but ugh. Yep. Just just like the movie itself. Poor Eternals. Don't don't be hating on the movie. Mm -hmm. The movie was fantastic. Um But um alright. Fantastic no. Four Empire. No 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 no. What? You're no. skipping one you're skipping yeah. one. The the storyline. Fantastic Four storyline. Oh I sorry, I'm looking at realms, not units. Yeah. Um, yeah, can't forget that. Well, no, they have this. Boy. They have the they same. They have the same release date. They have the same right. release date, and so just Fantastic Four Empire was on there first. So, not not an intentional thing there, folks. But <laughs> uh, we'll have, Dan will have his own episode about this one. So yeah. Well, we so we're going to do Fantastic. <laughs> we're going to do Fantastic Four Empire first. Uh, <laughs> because we'll, we'll come back to that other one because right. because um, that, that be little guy don't worry about that little guy don't worry about that little guy um shout out to venom rogue for being errated before release no <laughs> yeah for getting trashed before she ever got to get played <laughs> mm -hmm. probably for good reason but yeah. that doesn't mean it, it was it was nice in the moment when we all realized and we're like, hey, hey, all right. Oh, no. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> they fixed it. 
bummer. Yeah, she could have been really good. I think a little bit more than really good. Um, um, but golly, I mean, we're talking about like a chase set that was really good for the most part. There was a couple of bummers in there, but I mean, goodbye, Demon in Armor, Venom Wolverine, Venom Magneto. Um, shout out to Ricky Barnes for almost being good that one time. Um, and then Sentry, Hulk. Shoot, even the Thanos wasn't that bad. Captain Dude, Captain America. Yeah. Um, very good design. Very well designed chase set. Uh, so that that's my awe. Uh, what do y'all have for know. y'all? For y'all's awe. I don't know about that, but... Deadpool. The rare. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. I Deadpool love that. and Jeff. Sorry. More Jeff than Deadpool, but yeah. That Deadpool paired so well with Blackheart though. Oh he did, yeah, for sure. It was, it was perfect. <laughs> Alex? I mean, I feel like if I don't say super rare Captain America, that I'm just doing an injustice to the the brand that I've built about swapping Avengers. So, <laughs> do you I feel like I have to? Do you have an all? Do you have a number two that you'd like to mention as well? Um. Yeah, Ultron pin would be the second one. Yep, that's. I was going to give you an opportunity for that one. Um, yeah, that poor poor Ultron pin. Like he was okay. He's got, like, mission points, but, like, he was okay without it. Like, you didn't really build around that very much at all. And then he just got screwed over a lot by the rules changes recently. Because it's like, well, there's not a lot of people use theme anymore. But then he kind of had his last hurrah in the last couple of months because of Legacy Ultron. Because this guy loves Legacy Legacy Ultron loves Ultron yeah. Pym. Because he just gives him all the powers that Ultron needs. And so playing those two together, the, like the one or a little bit that I practiced with it and whatnot, it was fun. And I'm going to miss Ultron Pym because it, he was kind of necessary for Legacy Ultron. So I'm worried about Legacy Ultron a little bit, but yeah. we'll see. That's fair. Um, I mean... Oh, go ahead, Jason. No, go ahead. That's fine. I was going to say, was there any other Oz here? I mean, everybody's gonna be off for Venom Magneto, right? No, he's like, he's like everybody's best friend. No, like, can we just go to the get you know get out of here? I don't know yeah. how to build a team without Venom Magneto. Same exactly. Way. Well, it's... we're gonna learn. <laughs> <We've>... <laughs> we're all gonna learn together again how to build a team without a double just a, TK piece. Just that one time. That's all I did it. Jason, <laughs> do you you've got kids. You know how it is when you take a tablet away from a kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they just start screaming and get mad and you, you're like where did this demon come from you were fine right. a second ago yeah that's gonna be us when we're like oh we well we have to deal with polaris that's our backup option here for a free tk i'm used to tk and leadership and all this ridiculousness because he is the most broken piece we've had in such a long time but no one cares because he's a support piece so heaven mm -hmm. forbid we raise Kane about him because everybody loves him. Yeah, he's cuddly. Okay. I mean... I, I do have to say one awe for him, though, because he's just so flippin' cool. Like, it's just yeah. such a cool piece in general that if he wasn't broken and I didn't feel bad about playing him, I would play him all the time. Well, I play him all the time anyway, but... Right. Yeah, I get I what you're saying. more of all the time. That's cool. Super cool sculpt. Um, yeah. Like, another awe, we said that the chase is, like, I do, like, I wish Venom Wolverine got a little bit more play. Like, yeah, she, she, sh she should have seen an uptick with mystery cards, in my opinion, um, because I feel like she activated oh, a lot of mystery yeah. cards. Yeah. But mystery cards still haven't really hit their mark, even though they've got the potential to. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, oh, I will also say... Um, to be another awe moment is Prime Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, 
because okay. he yeah. one he one he raised a lot of questions for a while of how certain <laughs> interactions work with him having to suddenly be the target. Um, but he was good for a hot minute, just because he was kind of I I won't this may not be the right um, comparison, but he was kind of like the death metal Wonder Woman for a hot minute, where it's like I want to keep this piece alive. So for 50 points, I might play Captain Marvel because I know he will at least let my figure survive one or two attacks. Yeah. And then, it, which is kind of what Wonder Woman does, essentially. Like, oh, he's KO, but brought back. So he was great for a minute. And then, you know, the prime slot got very, very good. <laughs> he, he may have been the kickoff of, like, here's about to be a bunch of really, really good primes. Mm-hmm. Was this the was this the set? No, there was. Was this the first set where they did away with the cheaper primes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I think I think Rise and Fall. No, Rise and Fall okay. had rare primes. Wonder Woman eighty was the last of the uncommon prime. I think correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. Tolafar and Donna Troy. Yeah. Okay. Bingo. Yeah, that's right. Because we got Emperor Gladiator. And it's like, okay, well, the, the, that was where they just didn't stop pushing the gas on primes, which has been great. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a fun challenge of what prime do I want to fit in here? So I, I actually really love the prime mechanic because it really makes team building unique, I feel like, compared Even to other games. so now. And I'm, yeah. Yeah. Um, like now so, you have to actually make that choice. Before it was kind of like you really only had one, maybe two options. But now I'd say that there's at least five different primes that you could slip onto a team comfortably and feel feel mm -hmm. comfortable or feel good about it. So, all right, y'all go ahead and beat beat it up. <laughs> Fantastic Force 2021 storyline. We'll pour one out for Lockjaw. Pour one out? No, get the fuck yeah. out of here. No. Yeah. Good dog. Good doggy. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what? He was ruined because of his stupid buddy dad thing. Freaking eight click piece with a nineteen defense the whole dial. Yeah, it's <laughs> gross. Yeah. Can't really defend that. Fuck out of here. What's his fault? Wasn't his fault. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't, the it, wasn't, his, fault. wasn't the dog's fault? Don't, he's a good boy. He is a good boy. I do love Lockjaw and I do love my doggos, but not. Uh, well, no, I, I would not say one. pour one out for this. The set. Like yeah, because it was supposed keep, to be a storyline, and it was like well, keep in mind we were so the idea was is that was over the summer of twenty twenty. 2020 we were all supposed to be playing this storyline op winning the bagged prizes and uh team up cards and um legacy cards to go along the release to go along with the release of the fantastic four set with the culmination being galactus was supposed to be a prize yeah so, yeah this was all this was all like a really cool concept like, a, they could probably do, like, a 30 for 30 of this or something. Like, one of those, like, documentaries of, like, what could have been in 2020 mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the storyline OP of Fantastic Four. Like, because there's some of these pieces, one, once again, showed their showed their age because they came out so much later. So it's like, this just doesn't track as well as it should have. Um, oh, man. You know what we skipped? What? We didn't. Well, no, wait. Maybe I'll, we didn't talk about Fast Forces Invisible. The Visible Woman. It's because she'd already retired. She retired last year. Did she retire last year? Yeah, you're right. I yep. was sitting there thinking, like, Cosmic Clash. That's what I'm thinking. I get that. Yeah, that was already gone. Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Because I was lo I was looking uh, at I was looking at this one, and that's why I was like, this one had. There's so many pieces in here that you probably wanted to get hyped about, and it you just couldn't. 
because they were just overcosted. Except for two. Anyway, go on, Dan. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just not even going to say it because I don't want I don't want somebody to be be upset because I mentioned his name twice in one episode. So <laughs> y'all, y'all, I'm gonna say it. Thanos, get the fuck out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I felt good. It just felt good. I'm sure. I'm sure it does. I'm sure we'll see a TikTok or two of it, right? Probably before uh, Club 19. We need to. Are we just going to have like something at Worlds? Should we do some, like, plan something at Worlds? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I suppose we could. <laughs> like but... some final goodbye of just like. Yeah. I think we I think we have to. The world Heroclix communities the Heroclix community hates good tent poles. There's um, there's never been a tent pole that has won something that has not come upon the ire of the community. That's probably for good reason, right? Uh, does that, because it's like that's a matter of opinion, I suppose, Alex, and you already know where my well, opinion's at. They don't like things they can't kill. <laughs> well, sure. Are we have? Yeah, I mean, are we not talking about the meta going forward and like, oh, we want to be able to engage, blah blah blah, and like, oh, well, they don't want to have to fight some they can't kill. Well, it's like, well, yeah, that's what you guys were just arguing about. Like that's why Goblin King at two whatever, two seventy five. Yeah, it's like no one liked that because yeah, because he was annoying, didn't really engage, didn't have to. He just had to kill one thing and then hide in his little hidey hole next to a invisible jet, and he was great. If there, there was more engaging Alex, in Alex, your face, tent Alex, pole, there is different. there is a distinct difference between a tent pole and an OMA. Okay, I sure I understand that. Yes, I think both of those take away from some level of variation, though. You know, if half of the field is Thanos, it doesn't matter what the other 125 points is. Your main focus of your team is going to be Thanos, and so having that be a majority of what's meta is. I understand the sentiment. <laughs> there were. There were less Thanoses in top 16 of Worlds than Scarlet Witches at Nationals. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. I mean, it's not like you were playing Thanos and like, oh, I'm going to play Emperor Gladiator too, And like, I'm going to hit you with a double hammer. It was like, I'm going to play Thanos and pile everything into Thanos. Like, there is only one. And everyone else is here to support him. Behold the ultimate power in the universe, Alex. Mm hmm <laughs> As he goes into retirement. Uh, all the Get different here, flavors. Of now, now, yeah. yeah, now we're into uh, now we're into Endgame Thanos at yep. the beginning of the movie. <laughs> yep. Surprise, playing him at Worlds. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I have considered it. Is he? You, sir. What? Are you kidding? No, no. <laughs> I've seriously considered it, but probably still. I knew it. Yeah. I just like building barrier. Uh, oh, I know. I do it on fun nights. <laughs> Damn uh, builder. That's right. Um, all right, let's move through here. We're, we're running a little bit long, folks. Let's try to get through some of this and get through some questions, too. Uh, War of the Realms. So this is my, my, um, you mentioned Rise and Fall being a garbage set. This is by far way worse than Rise and This Fall. is worse than Rise and I Fall. I was going to say, I agree. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're all pretty bad. There's what, <laughs> one figure from this? Uh, let me look real quick. I think there's one figure from this set in the meta, and I think that's it. I think it's, I think it's Destroyer, and he's not even that high on the list these days. Not he's kind of been replaced now. Yeah. Not since Carnage Surfer came out. Let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I don't record. see anything. I'm record. Dude, nope. Uh, used nope. to be. Used to be, but 
Prime Wrecker, I think, still carries some weight for mission points. Right. I, like I think Wrecker. could still be used with, like, Indigo 1 Watcher and with some sort of tertiary mission, like Riddler or something like that. I think it's doable, but it's a long shot either way. Right. Uh, I like Chase Spider Man and I like Chase She Hulk. Are either of them no. super playable? No, but they're both fun. So, so, so why, so why haven't we been making Dark Phoenix move Wrecker? Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's, it's once per turn. It's once per turn. That's yeah. A, that's, Otherwise, you would be. That's on annoying. <laughs> that's that's yeah. annoying. It's uh, a slow burn. Yeah. Um. But no, I mean, Wrecker did get the first mission point win. Um, War of the Realms did have a figure that got ratted immediately in Hela. Uh, and keep in mind, I would just gotcha. like to point out, this is not a comprehensive uh, goodbye. So if you had something else, just feel free to make a post in our group about it, about what you do miss going away. Um, and then and I this... ended up with a hell of a lot of her as well. Cause... Wait, Alex, you're forgetting <laughs> it. Uh, so... Wrecker was a thing. Hella got the errata. Prime Gamora had had a few moments. Mm. Uh, yeah, what could have been? Recruiter Strange did before retirement with um, Wendigos. Uh, sure. And yeah. that was about it, though. Rocket Raccoon, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rock it. Um, all right, well... The set that we just recently did a set review, tier maker, and unboxing on, and are now retiring, uh, Disney Plus. Wait, 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 wait. What? We didn't. I know we were like we just said this set was awful. What is your thoughts? Are you guys giving an awe, or a screw you to the to Destroyer? Aww. I'm torn. Man. Before I didn't like him because it was the only prime that was worth playing, but now that there's stuff out there that kind of counters him a little bit, and there are better primes in my opinion. Yeah, I'll pour one out for Destroyer. I don't know why you have that opinion, man. I don't know why you think there's better primes. It's not like you won a national tournament with no, no, not something. at all. <laughs> <laughs> like. Like, I, I have, a I guess, a love-hate feeling for Destroyer, because as many times as he's helped me out, I feel like there's that many times he screwed me over. Just by, yeah. like, hitting my opponent, showing what, with one up, and just blasting me. Because they rolled a six or whatever or on, the, on their first roll, and it's like, well, all right, that's my turn. Yeah, poor, like, Destroyer didn't, poor Destroyer didn't even get it, didn't even win Worlds. Because uh, Mad Jim did last year. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think the best part about Destroyer is the fact that he's about to retire, and I know for a fact that there are still people that consistently forget to roll for his trait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, he has been in the game for two full years now, and people still don't know or forget how to play him. It's great. <laughs> Um. All right. Um. Disney Plus. Let's just move on to the big one. Yeah. Yep. Oh man. So. Can. We, so this sets polarizing. This has caused a lot of commotion and discussion because it just came out last June, and but we'll make it through two worlds, and. Um, is going away. So, um, are we okay with? Good. Are we are good? That's what was going to be my question, Alex. Was how what is, what does the room think about um, Disney Plus retiring at this point? Good. Anybody want it to stay? Good. Yeah, mm. I think I'd rather yeah. seen it stay and get some adjustments. I'm okay with that. I I think. My concern, and I, it, I've seen this on Facebook as well, is this set's kind of a bad precedent. Not the set, but the this concept of it's been out for a year and two months, and it's leaving because it's That's seen fair. two worlds. It's like, now that Worlds mm -hmm. is in October, it's like, okay, so 
notorious right. notorious might barely i mean it's notorious kind of fits i guess because it's it's missing this world but if notorious came on time in august does that mean this time next year we're we're losing it because it it would have technically gotten two worlds i think the tide of worlds we're... is just bad right like we're gonna miss like a60 gonna retire next year do you think that they're tying it to that or do you think that they were making such a big cut so that they could kind of cut out some of the bigger maps switch that, that's Sackman, totally that's totally possible and then go back to a more standard kind of rotation once we get all the big maps out of rotation possibly since that's kind of what they're more gearing towards I I think they like to model model their games after other very popular games. You could see some mechanics like when we got um, title characters, right? Those were what modeled after Planeswalkers, something similar, if I remember correctly. Um, the uh, so yeah, the Planeswalkers, yeah. Magic yeah. Magic has a rotation. Also, obviously, I think was two years, mm -hmm. um, which is very similar to this, but they redid it this year to three years yeah um so it may not surprise me if they change their mind going forward and say you know we want to follow what magic does because that's kind of the standard but i like to think it's because they model their game after other very popular games and say this is how they do it for modern this is how we're going to do it for modern i don't know if they really thought of it of oh we want to take out the power racer specifically or this i think it's we i think they probably did follow the two worlds mechanic and whether or not that's good or bad i don't i don't think it's i don't like it i'm with jason on i'm fine if if scarlet witch and uh agatha got like some changes to make it not as mm -hmm. impactful and left yeah. some of the rest of the set it just sucks for people that like invested in this set and to know, hey, this set lasted a year and some change. When we have other sets that have been out for over three years, mm -hmm. been in, in, are getting retired in the same it, wave. Yeah, in the same. Yep, exactly. And it, yeah. and it sets a precedent yeah. that is scary. Just like this is just like getting like the four characters in X of Swords, and we're like, well, we've got four. I hope this doesn't set a precedent. And it's like, well, here's Batman. Oh, here's Wheels of Vengeance. It's like, well, it's kind of setting the precedent where we're okay with this. It's like, so is this setting the precedent of, hey, this mm -hmm. set is meant, you're, you cannot count on your set lasting longer than a year and some change. So, might so, so, Alex, I would, I would like to uh, add on to your point and say, this is why I will continue to scream from the top of my lungs please bring back organized play we cannot have a void of events from october to may and really a devoid of modern events from october to june this is very true. So you're telling me, yeah, Jason, you're right. A60 is going, is if it follows the same pattern, very well could retire next September. And you get to play <laughs> with it from June to September of 23 and June mm -hmm. to September of 24 in modern. Not, e yeah, not even a full year's worth of and, Keep in mind, might be I, okay, though. keep in mind, I don't want to, I don't, and just, I know Alex is on here and a lot of folks, you know, involved with the Hero Clicks for Huntington's event. It does not disparage Silver Age or anything. Um, other than the fact that Modern is the premier format for Hero Clicks. And we want more events for Modern. Period. Yeah, I've just never been a fan of dividing up to the different formats like like they're doing but you know yeah i mean it is what it is and i don't want to get on a, a rant here but the fact that they're talking about making silver a having silver age having a silver requirement that's a, that's such a bad idea please do not do that please 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 do not do that i think ultimately this will all be fine if WizKids 
is mindful of their release schedule going forward. And like if they're mindful of, hey, if we're going to release things in like August, let's make sure that it's just not legal for world. So we like release it at the end of August and just say there's not enough time. Um, because I think like we avoided it this year because A60 came out in June. Yeah. But once again, if something had come out in August, we're looking at potentially just that one year the set last and it is gone. So yeah. that's my concern is, is like next year, the last set we know of for next year thus far is May. So it's like May is a bad time because that means you're looking at a July, August release for your next set. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, what are we, uh, is that set going to last one year because they got two worlds? Or are they going to change? Are they going to put everything to what Con LEs are? Because Con LEs, like, they just pick and choose what they want to stay with Con LEs. So. Right. Yeah, I think I'd have been okay, though, with Disney Plus staying had they made some tweaks to the witches. And I say that fully keeping in mind that I'm probably going to be playing Scarlet Witch next month. Uh, she doesn't really theme with Thanos, so I don't know if that's... I mean, I guess you could go non-theme. I guess that's fair. True. Thanks for that, mm -hmm. Alex. Mm -hmm. um, true, true. All right. Um, so we, we need to do what? Should we do our ums real quick, though? Like, should our we do Oz, we've been doing? I mean, Oz and. Oz, oh, real quick. As long as it's quick. No discussion. Oz, Saki. Saki. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's tough. It's hard for me to say, like, Alex, all something pick one. that I pick, also want. There's, there's, there's one answer for you, Alex. That's not, that's not <laughs> Saki. Um, man, Hydra Stomper. That was a... <laughs> Alex, you're SWAT <laughs> Captain America. What? You're SWAT Captain America guy, the chase. He's not in this. What are you talking about? The one yeah. that dropped your equipment for you. I did that once. You can't You can't play this Captain oh. America because you can't swap him with someone also named Captain America. Because they decided the one swap figure last... They're gonna make it change because X Men and Fantastic Four were so broken. So you couldn't use this Captain America to swap. Well, didn't you do? Out. Didn't you swap him out or no? No, no. What was this? What was this figure from this set that you got the equipment from? Um, you could do it with Doctor Strange, like the or were you doing it with the Falcon? You were doing it with something to get the a Falcon. Red it was the, fa yes, the Falcon. It was the Falcon. Sorry, Falcon I did for Red Wing if I wanted to. That's right. Hey, sure. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Not yeah. not Captain America. Not that would have been sweet, but yeah, but illegal. <laughs> so, but there's uh, a lot yes, of other very, good stuff. Very illegal. Set. Um, uh, I think someone who wants to pour one out because of all of this, for sure, is Mad Jim Jasper's. Really, is pouring one out for this rotation, um, because mm. his his pickings got very slim. That he's yeah. now he's now down to some swords. And like a bad belt, he's got rings, sure, but like rings and swords, man, rings and swords. He mm -hmm. he he really likes some of this older stuff <laughs> to throw on to people. Oh, uh, the dark hold. Mm. Yep. Like this cloak of levitation will be yeah. sorely missed, not just by Sackman, yeah. but by a lot of characters. Yeah. Hulk, Hulk will hate hate missing that cloak of levitation. Hulk miss cloak. Yes. yes. Same with some of the sh uh, like Captain Carter shield was low key pretty good. Like just giving defend. Oh hell yeah, absolutely. Um, I will swap between that and the radioactive clay, offense to defense. I will not miss Red Wing because I hated that whole scarab interaction where it's like, hey, we all copy Red Wing and we just keep making the Red Wings. <laughs> I've got all this bystanders. Army of Red Wings, go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No thanks. No thanks. That's fair. Um, um, what right. about pour, real quick? Pour one out for pre rules change collector, like pre like <laughs> ruling change collector. We don't we don't talk about dirty that. ass collector. Yeah, where it's just like, hey, everyone who joins the team, you get bonuses, baby. It was really great like, for a while. Yeah. Um, real real annoying too. Real annoying. Yep, you got the it. Oprah of free damage. Yep, you get a damage. You get a damage. 
Um, all right, questions to wrap this up, but uh, we're running a little long tonight. So, um, how will people adjust their teams from Johnny Dunn here that had Iron Man and Scarlet Witch? They will have to rebuild them. Not for Worlds. Not for Worlds. Yeah, so this is post Worlds. We're definitely playing Scarlet Witch and Iron Man going into Worlds. Um, uh, every, no, every, no, everybody just take out Scarlet Witch and add a Cosmo. That's that's all you got left, baby. It's just that Leech. poor little dog. Don't forget about Leech. Leech is gone, isn't nope. he? He's X of Swords. Was he? I thought yep. he was. Yep. Oh, for some reason, I th always put him with Storyline OP. I don't know why I did that. Nope. But um, Leech is a little. Leech is way harder to play now with. Out, um, without a cloak, swap without a swap too, right? Yeah, without a swap, like without you, a cloak. Yeah. All right. So yeah, Cosmo. Um, Jason Phillip, what set are you hoping the team sealed event at Worlds will be centered around? Notorious. Notorious. Yep. Yeah. All day. Wheels of Vengeance. Just throw it something. Just like the, how no, much do ball, it? were were BRs fifteen or twenty at Gen Con, Jason? Uh, they were 20. Okay. That's the second question. Final question the, the, from the... Like, yeah. I guess Gen Con. I don't know what to be a world. 15 or 20. Kind of, yeah, 15 or yeah. 20. Final question from the fishbowl. What local hot spots are you looking forward towards in Memphis? Not the McDonald's near the convention center. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's, what's the name of our restaurant? The only other place that we've gone to, we've ate at the convention center, the hotel, the McDonald's. And uh, the barbecue place right down the street. What was the name of the barbecue place, Dan? Ben, I can't think of the freaking name of it. I'd have to look it up. I can look it up. Alex, we, do you have any other? Huh? Did you go to? You were at Worlds last year, right? Yeah. Oh, but it's for notes. I don't think. I don't think he went with us though. No, I'm talking about other uh, champ, oh, Alex. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is it Mar Raiders. It's sorry. it's yeah. Marlowe's. Marlowe's. Yep. Yeah, mm, Marlo. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go with you guys last time, but yeah, I went the first time. Uh, Marlos, did you, um, uh, Alex? Did you have anywhere else that y'all went to go out to eat or anything? Not that I can remember. Too busy playing hero clicks. There is um, a lot of for that previous that. question, uh, real quick. Last year, battle royals were eighteen dollars. Just FYI. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, Jeff Dumas, we talked about your question. Uh, Garrett, uh, thoughts on the other Gala characters? They look fantastic. Oh, yeah, I, wanna, I hope there's a Captain America, and that's it. I hope we get a, another Powers and Abilities card. Yeah. Yeah, the one we get to, like, use a little longer this time, maybe? Yeah, because that one looks sweet. Like, I, I got one, and I was like, this is an, I want to use this every day. And it's like, just kidding. Rules change. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. pointless now. Yeah. Like, they really <laughs> should have just reprinted that and fixed it. And said, that, like, like, here's a copy for everybody. Just the box itself was, like, fan-fucking-tastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could have scanned it and done that. That probably would have been smart and just fixed it myself. But I ain't got, I ain't got oh, time I for that, though. All right. It well, was he... very pretty, though. All right. It was nice. Peter Marshfield, with the announcement for rotation, how do you guys feel about downsizing your collection? I don't because I play silver. I've been I've been tossing the stuff for years because, you know, I don't have money to just keep everything or space. So I just keep on doing it, probably. If you're downsizing your collection at this point because of rotation, you're doing things wrong. Um, you should have done that six months ago. To be honest, like if you're on top of what you think rotation is going to be, you should have already gotten rid of a bunch of figures. Like I got rid of Scarab a while ago because I knew there was zero chance I was playing him at Worlds despite all the hype. So I wanted to sell him at his height. His I height. Uh, I went and got two more Scarabs because I still might play Scarabs at Worlds. But it's just like everybody mm. selling all their Sackies, right? Yes, well, I. I I feel bad for the guy who paid $169 for Saki on eBay like three days ago. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you should have. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, if he's going to yeah. play the thing is, Worlds, you, The thing right? is, you still need him for Worlds, right? So all these people that are that are bottoming out the Saki price, like, well, now's the time if you want to play Saki at Worlds to pick up a Saki. Yeah. I'm well, probably just going to keep him for sentimental value. Uh, <laughs> so I want to bring this up real quick. 
Um, and you guys didn't talk about it in the meta chat today, but I sent y'all a clip of uh, an Aust- a New Zealand, um, not Australian, New Zealand talk show, radio show. It's called Girl Mass. I didn't watch it. Oh my gosh, you missed out. It's hilarious. It's um, it's how do you justify this stuff? Well, look, if you buy a Saki for Worlds now to play him in one event, you're pretty much playing him for free. Because let's just say you buy him at his new bottomed out price of 65. Well, you probably would have went and bought a couple of boosters trying to pull him. You're not going to the movies. How much is a movie ticket now? $15? And there's going to be some resale value for Saki after Worlds. So, you buy it. You don't go to the movies during Worlds. You sell it after Worlds. You pretty much get to play Saki for free. Girl Mass. Mm-hmm. It's really, you need to, it's really whatever good. you need to do to convince yourself. Sure. It's called Girl Mass. You got to you got to watch the TikTok. <laughs> it's funny. I'm not obviously as uh, funny as the New Zealand radio announcers. Um. All right, and then Alex Peter wants you to uh, share your Avengers Fantastic Four pulp build. Uh, your audio just got way bad. Yeah. My, Daniel's did. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm, that's not good. Um, y'all's are still good on my end. Okay, hey, so so while you're looking at that, um, my build for uh, Pulp was Fantastic Four Swap because they forgot that existed. They got rid of Professor X and forgot Fantastic Four could still swap. So the team is technically Avengers because there is a lot of Avengers Fantastic Four. A lot of Avengers with Fantastic Four keywords. And so it's um, Invisible Woman 34 from the uh, Fantastic Four. Um, Party Thor at 50, Falcon at 50. So Blue Marvel, Party Thor, Falcon are kind of the key Avenger pieces. And then Doctor Strange, Uncommon at 40 for your leadership, and a TK. But, and by then the way, Ant Man. My audio is so bad. Yep. Just a little bit. Uh, so I was going to say, when I disconnected from that, people didn't hear it. So Alex, like, I think if you could just post a link to it. Hmm? If you could just post a link to your. Yeah, I, I could. Yeah, I will. Perfect. Um, but anyway, the, it just boiled down to just having Franklin Richards and Valeria on the team with him. Blue Marvel, Party 4, Falcon, and Doctor Strange. It was incredibly solid. Surprisingly solid. I should say. I... Does my mic sound any better there? A little bit. Yeah, you okay. were sounding okay for a second. Yeah, I don't know. My, um... I'm just gonna switch to the... I just switched microphones in setting, so... Um... You're static and quieter. Static and quieter. Let me switch back to the other one. I'm noticing it's picking up some artifacts from somewhere, so I don't know if like I'm having some sort of issue right now. Um, but the recording's probably fine. If it's not, it's not. I don't guess. Let me switch. Yeah. Yeah. Is that any better? Uh, keep talking. Keep talking. Well, I can do that. So. Uh, not, let me switch this not really, to but that's Mac. okay. Uh, let me switch that. Okay. How about Seems that the now? same. Yeah. Is that any better? Yes. There you go. Okay. All right. So I just switched to my um, oh, iPhone. My iPhone yeah. microphone. Uh, oh, you're set. My MacBooks can do that. So. Um, so. All right. We'll just do that. That might be the new. Might be the new deal. I don't know. Um, all right. So, last few questions here. Uh, Alex Mooser, we are seeing a lot of great support options. Venom Mags, Molecule Man, Emo Mod, Dark Code, etc. Leaving up the world. Do we think we will see these sorts of figures and equipment ever be replicated? I hope not. I, yes. WizKids will do it. We, we, we know this. I hope they don't redo Venom Magneto. That was too much of a crutch, I think, for the meta. Or you were just, you felt like if I didn't have him on my team, my team wasn't efficient. And a lot of the times that was true. 
That's just um, not. It's just not good. I mean, it's a it's a single answer to cross map reach. So. Yep, for sure. Yep. Um. So, uh, Simeon wants to know how many times did you practice against Lucas? And I guess your um, local venue is called Rainbow. He's asking if you will wear, we'll wear a crown at Rainbow. Uh, I played against Lucas with that specific team twice before we played in any of the tournaments. So, like a grand total of four or five times. Oh, wow. All in. Against um, him with that team. The thing so, is that if you if you did wear a crown uh, at there, no no one would see it though because we know you you wouldn't be posting it on Facebook or anything yeah, like that, right? Yeah. We would have to it's rely true. we would have to rely on Lucas memeing it of some sort. Um, yep. I can guarantee you that there are a couple of. Uh, kids there that if i were a crown would absolutely take pictures of it and find a way to make it a meme so i will probably not be doing that <laughs> <laughs> listen if you don't have that plaque in your box of hero clicks or like somehow just like have it mounted <laughs> on the side just like oh well how did this get here <laughs> whoops yep Oh, let me let me put that away real quick while I get my figures out and just yeah. casually bring it out every single game. Yeah, you should probably just have like a jacket where you put it on the back, like a Letterman's jacket or something. <laughs> just like <laughs> use it as your just use it as your tray. Like just carry your figures on top of it for like okay. local play. Yeah, and just like place I'm not it down. gonna lie, that idea I actually like get like a plexiglass cover to go over it and just mm -hmm. put my figures on there. Mm -hmm. Yes, there you go. <laughs> hey, people underestimate the like mental games that Hero Clicks could bring of just like I'm gonna try to psych out my opponent by doing whatever, like for whatever reason. It works sometimes. That might be the most egotistical thing <laughs> I could ever do. And I'm super tempted to do it. You have no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I would That's not like if you sat down with that, I would not like I would love it. Like, I would think, right. yes. Like, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you? You're probably one of the only people that has a plaque from WizKids at this I, point. I yeah. seriously am going to look into how difficult that would be to do. Well, you, you know there's one of these talented hero, hero uh, craftsmen out here that could probably help you out. <laughs> that right. would be awesome. Yeah. All right, all right, let's move us along here. I, I love that idea, though. Um, Sorry, that's too good. <laughs> that's good. Uh, Michael, so... The, your question in general, um, we need to probably talk a whole lot more about post-retirement meta, um, but that'll probably be closer to after Worlds. But uh, yeah, we ain't got time for that right now. <laughs> no, not right, not right now, not at the moment. We're running a little long tonight. But um, Apoc and Genesis. We, we could say we could say it'll be a shit show. Can we just no, say that? No, it won't be. It'll be great. Cause we'll have powers, Alex. Yeah, it'll be the same team, and everyone's just playing the same team. It's gonna be rainbows and fairies. You shut your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'll, let's see. Yeah. Timestamp mm. this. Let's timestamp this too. I'm timestamping all of this. So when everyone's belly aching in November, because we got the tournaments we wanted, and then we realized it's still a terrible meta. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe, and we're like, maybe, oh, what maybe, is maybe. up with this meta? It blows. It's like, hmm, I wonder why. Maybe, you guys thought maybe, we were going to have rainbows. <laughs> maybe you, Daleks poos. Hey, I'm going to have fucking rainbows, all right? Yeah. We well, unfortunately, we get... De Unicorn Deadpool's ro rotating, so you can't... Uh, no, no, that, we get Rainbow Superman. Finger Superman is, is going to be here. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, okay. That's, right. that's fair. Um, but I would say my, uh, my advice at this point would be pick up an APOC and Genesis if you don't have one already. Yeah hate it but you're right yep they're at a low spot at the moment um which me saying that might make them go yeah. back up so they are not there they have already reached and took off from the low spot yeah so uh it has been it has been spoken it has been spoken um nick same thing for michael we'll, we'll get to your question later um and then william holland uh, we talked about retirement quite a bit. 
Uh, and then uh, Gus Williams, Augustus Williams asks, will Scott Porter be here in time for Worlds? It certainly doesn't feel like it. I I for real thought you meant the like actual Scott Porter. No. I was like, wait, is were people thinking he was gonna be a Worlds? I mean he's he he made it appear. I thought the same thing. Yeah, so, I was like it's like good. wait, was that a thing and now we're thinking it's not? Like, did I miss the news? It, it, like you said, he should. Like that'd be awesome if he came. That would be. <laughs> yeah, it would All be. right. Let's wrap it up with some final thoughts. Um AC, Alex. Um, I'm just, I'm just making timestamps, man. Just making timestamps so that way when all of y'all start losing, don't make top cuts because your opponent hit every rollout. I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be here with the timestamps, man. I'm just being like, Hey, this, we should not be in a meta with four rollouts, five rollouts. That's, that's not good. You know what, Alex? I'm going to purposely not complain about it if it happens. We know that's not going to be the case. <laughs> we know that's not happening. Oh, it is. Could be. I'd be like, yeah, went in with the attack. The guy rolled out. Just is what it is. He had powers. It was great. We played a fair and balanced game of rolling dice with standard <laughs> powers available to both of us. What was your score? Uh, 20 to 10? <laughs> that's a great hero clicks game. No, it isn't. I've played a lot of those. Those are would the you, worst. Would you? Would you read a comic book? Okay, is if every time the villain showed up, the hero was just like, and it was like four panels. Low time, guy robs a bank. Fucking Iron Man comes in with the Hulkbuster armor, just squashes the guy down 16 floors below, uh, down in a subway in New York. That was everything. Captain America... Fucking Red Skull comes up. Captain America throws the shield at him, cuts his head off instantly. I mean, that's probably what he should have done. Let's be real here. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's not a good comic book. Uh, I don't think the good comic book is your superhero running out there and dodging every attack that the villain throws at him and then arrests him and be like, well, that's game. Like, oh, we just couldn't hit each other whoa, this whoa, time. Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. And the villain hit shape change seven times in a row. They're not getting arrested anytime soon, man. And then yeah, King they, Killmonger <laughs> comes in. Every every comic, he's like, you can't hit my friend. What are you doing? You have those pair of billy clubs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Batman, you gotta take off your belt if you want to hit my friend. All right, Jason? Uh, I'm just sitting here, like, looking at the rainbows, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm playing Six Apocalypses and Death Metal Wonder Woman. You're going to kill yourself trying to kill me. So, yeah, get ready. <laughs> Jason, I thought we agreed you were supposed to play three Apox again. Like, three uh, you know what? Apox. That might be back on the table. <laughs> Beat me five points at a time. Let's go. Man. That sounds great. That sounds really fantastic. Um, all right. Champ, <laughs> final thoughts can't wait for worlds excited to see you guys there it's been a lot of fun yeah well thanks for being on the show today and uh look forward to seeing everybody in worlds probably gonna have a few more episodes before now in worlds um i hope the audio stuff there a few minutes ago worked out okay and thanks everybody for listening to click stuff today we'll talk to y'all next time later see you